We're going north. That's not how I want to do my first day back in camping. <laughs> I don't even know what I have. I've got all my stuff packed out. Now I have to figure out how that turns into a campsite. This what? is Lynx Creek, uh, highest producer of gold in Arizona, this creek right here, so. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Love Book. My name is Jeff, but you can call me Ronan. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're here in Phoenix. I've been here for many, many days and uh, just getting everything sorted so I can hit the road again. Um, getting all sorts of supplies, um, equipment, getting all my stuff back from Nilo's house, camping gear, because we're going camping. Oh man, I'm so excited. So um, let's flip the coin and then we can see, figure out where we're going. All right, here we go. What's next? All right, we're going north. All right, I'm super stoked on that because let's just check out the map. We can go north. We've got Prescott up around here. We've got Sedona here and Flagstaff. Um, all of once we get to about here, I think it's all forest, uh, which is awesome. And over here is all forest too. Uh, so um, there's a Colorado shelf that goes along here, or a Colorado plateau, and so it's going to be way colder here than it is here. So we'll probably stay on the bottom side of the shelf, but that's our plan. I'm excited. All right. Well. We have left the uh, Ocotillo uh, Apartments and Suites, or whatever it's called, and uh, we're hitting the road. First stop is going to be getting to a motorcycle shop that I have found that has, or hopefully has, chain oil. The chain oil I got in Mexico City, I believe, or Puebla. Um, I mean, it's chain oil, but uh, it was really, really thin. So, you know, I don't know chain oils at all, but I kind of just want to uh, get something that I can look at and trust. <laughs> so, we're good for now. And I still have the stuff, so we'll hopefully we're good. Anyway, it's weird. Um, <laughs> it's weird going to a shop that is says it's open at nine o'clock and it's actually open at nine o'clock <laughs> I'm very happy for this I wish I needed more stuff <laughs> not really <laughs> okay chain wax complete now big breakfast I think I bit off more than I can chew here got sausage hash browns bacon ham um, eggs, toast, and pancakes. Way more than I thought. Alright, here we go. Well, <clears throat> that is food out of the way. Wow, man. I was, out of all that stuff, what was still left on the plate <laughs> was the pancakes, slice of bread, the ham, I finished the rest, which was really only half. <laughs> so here we go. Get some gas, hit the road. Yeah. So this, there's the Lake Pleasant uh, Park, which is uh, on the lake. <laughs> um, so yeah, tons of boats like that one. Wow, that's a big lineup to get in the park. So uh, there's a lot of uh, spots where you can go along the lake, I guess. Um, I just saw a sign that said burn ban starting this month. Uh, I think it goes until October. So I don't know if that's going to be, you know, this county or what. Where we're going is a totally separate area, so hopefully we can have a campfire tonight. Cook. Otherwise, uh, that might be troublesome. Okay, so that is to the lake. We are not going to the lake. We're not going to enjoy a wonderful day on the water. No! 
<laughs> oh, turns to dirt right away. Okay. So I'm guessing that these are all dirt bikes or side by sides. Huh. Time to put my gloves on. Washboard, awesome. Pretty spectacular, these views. Those swirl cactus are so awesome. I constantly feel like an anvil's gonna fall out of the sky though. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good washboard that you see in, uh, you know, junk bands and stuff like that. This is the bad washboard. All right, Blind Hill. You guys ready for a day in the desert? Wow, mailboxes. People live out here. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is a lot of land. Whew. Look at these swaros. Oh, the lake in the background. I'll try that. This is awesome. Oh there. Hey cows. <laughs> oh. That stinks. I don't know what it is that stinks, but something stinks. <laughs> no no bueno. Let's go explore a little bit here. <laughs> this would be a rad camping spot. I'd love to go for a swim today. Look at this, this is awesome. <laughs> I don't know how anyone got in or out of here. Okay. Let's get back at her. So today we're following a yellow line and um, it's gonna take us up towards the town of Prescott. And the town of Prescott has a whole bunch of um, campgrounds around it. So that could be cool. It's also at a decent elevation. So, you know, it's gonna be a little bit cooler uh, in the evening and obviously in the morning. So. Should be good. I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. Hopefully it doesn't have a firebrand. I mean, it's beginning of the summer. Well, it's not even summer yet, it's still spring. So it's like mid-spring. Pretty early to have a firebrand. But they got their reasons for sure. Well, first time getting off the yellow line. And I think I just mentioned the yellow line. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know, I guess I, there was a uh, intersection I didn't see. So we'll go back to it. A whole bunch of people dispersed camping. Those are trailers for ATVs and stuff. This must be like a staging area. When I was doing the uh, recon for this, recon is a really bad word because 
I didn't do any of that. <laughs> but when I was doing the planning, oh look, a mule. I saw so many paths that go up into the middle of everywhere. This was the only one that I could find that was, hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Didn't wave back, jackass. <laughs> Yeah, this is the only one that I could find that went all the way up into the mountains to Prescott. Alright, we've got a residential area, next 5.5 miles. Drive slow, no shooting, no loitering. Did I say loitering or littering? Stop hanging around. Okay. Yeah, we're still on the yellow line. <laughs> it's gonna be a, uh, a constant look for me. Is gonna look it down and make sure we're on the yellow line. Wow, this is awesome. Definitely gotten more fun. Plus, more exposed rocks. <laughs> Where I was back there, okay? Jeez. <laughs> uh, I just turned it on too late. <laughs> Redneck with a rifle. <laughs> I think that's a uh, warning not to go in there. All right, I caught it, just in time. So we take a Ricardo here. Oh, gets a little rougher, that's what I like to see. Nice little berm. <laughs> really ridden any dirt other than that last episode a little bit uh, in a while so I'm getting back in the groove right now so this is pretty good for it sure it's nice to have this tire Yeah, we're still on the yellow line. <laughs> kind of important. Yellow line, thank you. I'm getting, uh, I'm bottoming out on my rear. And I remember now that uh, it's happening that it happened before on my way down through US and I think my license plate took the brunt of it <laughs> oh this is great these, all these little berms are fun well, obviously you have to have speed for them <laughs> Oh man, I don't see for this one. Uh, I just gotta take it slow. Oh, not ideal. Not ideal. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's going on? How, how's this uh, road up? Uh, 
So you'll get to a point. Uh, are you trying to go to Cr Crown King? On um, Prescott. Prescott? Yeah. There is, there's like a, a waterfall, like ledge that you have to climb up. It's oh, really? optional. Okay. It's like a rock ledge. Yeah, basically. yeah. Okay. You're skilled enough, you can probably get it up there. <laughs> I'll have to take I, a look. I've seen people go up there before on fucking dirt bike. Yeah, I've got lots of bags. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think there's basically like two spots, two obstacles that they're not optional. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's uh, to get from here to Crown King? Yes. Okay. And then I think from Crown King, you can go to Crestview. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, man. They gave me a popsicle. <laughs> I took a look at the map and um, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a no go. He said there's two waterfalls that you gotta crawl up. And uh, with these bags, um, he was like, ah, he's like, I seen, I seen dirt bikes go up it, but you know, don't exactly have a dirt bike. And um, obviously, I've got. <laughs> a lot of luggage so um, I'm gonna turn around and see if I can find another way around so it's a bummer but you know it happens I'm glad I met these guys because uh, <laughs> apparently it's pretty rough to, to get to those waterfalls so uh, let's do it uh, yeah. we uh, me and that dude started talking for a little bit longer and uh, he was like yeah there used to be a I cut around like an alternate route, but there's a F-150 parked in the way, stuck. <laughs> I guess it's been there for a while. So, uh, yeah, it's a bummer that I, uh, you know, couldn't get around. But, um, you know, we, there's there's other ways, so uh, we'll just have to pick another one. So hopefully there's, uh, we don't have to go down too far. That is just beautiful though, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> awesome. the side road and uh, I was really kind of hoping that it would um, <laughs> just go all the way up to uh, Prescott but we're linking up the highway now. Bummer. We're going to Lynx Lake Campground. I don't know if there's going to be any space but there's a bunch of campgrounds around there. Um, I was thinking about going maybe up to Sedona, maybe, but uh, that's gonna be fully dispersed camping, which means no services at all, which uh, is awesome, but that's not how I wanna do my first day back at camping. <laughs> I don't even know what I have. So uh, we'll just do, we'll do a campground and we'll figure it out from there. It'll be fun. Well, the campground said full, so there's a few other campgrounds up the way, so I'm going to go check those out. I kind of feared that, and uh, this was uh, my backup plan. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> it's called a group camp. I don't want to do a group camp, so... Uh... Go further down, there's two more that I can see. Alright, we're coming up on another one. Somewhere. <laughs> it's so beautiful in here. The, uh, the smell, the smell of pine. Alright, here we go. Here's one more. Let's see how this goes. Uh, dispersed. So we're 
getting my wish. <laughs> so it's dispersed camping, but it's got um, it's got site numbers. So I guess it still can be full. Usually dispersed camping is just a big open field, and there you go. So we got people there. People there. Taken. That's one. That's taken. That's taken. Alright. Alright, taken. Taken. Okay, I guess that's it. Here, I believe, is the last of the forestry ones. Let's see what we got here. One through thirteen. All right. Well, this has been no luck so far. We're pretty far down in the. Uh, well, <laughs> we're in the. We're in here. Park right there. Park right there. Hold up. 12, 11 are not taken. So, let's take them. <laughs> I don't need all of them, so I'm gonna uh, just take something here. There. Something goes down, we're good. Flat area. Let's go over to the flat area. Nice. All right. We're gonna have to do a lot of what bring in a lot of water. <laughs> I like it. Camping. I've got all my stuff packed out. <sighs> now I have to figure out how that turns into a campsite. It's been over six months since I've done this, so wish me luck. <laughs> Well, that went way easier than I thought it was gonna go. So uh, yeah, we're all of that kept packed up. So I'll just uh, bury my things in there and then let's go get some food, some drinks, yeah. Today we're gonna make it basic because I'm new at this again. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab a salad. Mexican street corn. Never tried that one before, let's do it. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> uh, no paying for the campground because it's uh, dispersed and free. So I can splurge a little bit on some food. So I think I'm gonna get a good steak. Uh, yay. They're all America sized. <laughs> That's the one. All right. Firewood and briquettes. So we figured out it's two bundles of firewood, well water, briquettes, could have got a bigger size, beer, food, other one, non exhaust side. I think we're good. Oh, we gotta grab water. Water. <laughs> I've never tried this before. This is not gonna ha happen, but that might. There we go. All right, let's see if that works. <laughs> I am full to the rim with things. So we got three liters of water here, two liters in the back. Uh, there is a stream right next door, which uh, Jesper uh, warned me of uh, blacktail rattlesnakes, I think you said. So that's the thing. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, we have enough water to put out the fire, enough stuff to make a fire, and we cooking. I'm so excited for this. Oh, yeah. Twisted. Yeah. <laughs> this is so 
needed for my psyche right now. Oh man. I'm really glad that we got dispersed camping because there's no one around. There's Jasper, his truck. He's gold panning right now, panning for gold, gold panning, whatever. He'll tell us when he gets here. <laughs> yeah, we gotta meet him, he's awesome. Okay, we're gonna start seasoning the steak. I'm gonna just do a quick rundown because this is new to me. <laughs> but I've got this uh, seasoning that's packed in my bag that I packed before, <laughs> and I'm gonna use that. But I'm just gonna uh, get some holes in there, and then I got some soy sauce I'm gonna put on the top. Yeah, I have no idea what this seasoning is, so hopefully it's good. So I've got the charcoal going, and I was told to light it right away. So we're lighting it. Should have lit, and lit the back first. Wow, these ones go up. Well, the wind is definitely helping. <laughs> yes, so I just gotta let that sit for a bit, get charred over, and then I can put my grill down. Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> so while I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to eat a salad here. It's uh, just a bag salad. You saw me get it. And uh, I just cut it open like a um, those boxes of cereal you get, the tiny ones, and then just dump everything into the bag and chow down like that. It's pretty good. It's tasty. Rabbit food. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm filming right now. Oh, yeah, want to say hi, Jasper? Hello, Jasper, yeah. sorry. How was it? It was good. Yeah? I don't think I'll be eating at Ruth Chris tonight, but probably <laughs> McDonald's and get a double cheeseburger, but I got a little bit of gold. Oh, nice. That's great. Yeah. Uh, Jasper is uh, here. What is, what is this? This Link? is Lynx Creek. Lynx Creek? Okay. Yeah. And you said it was... It's the uh, highest producer of gold in Arizona, this creek right here. So it's, uh, it's produced about 115,000 ounces, which is recorded. And who knows how much was not recorded. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. So that's pretty cool. That's great, man. So it's a good hobby. Congrats. You know? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Sweet. So um, how often do you come up here? I would say, you know, when I'm done with work, I have a house in downtown Prescott. Oh, okay, cool. And uh, so I'd say probably four to five afternoons a week. So awesome. pretty often. <laughs> Sweet, man. That's awesome. That's wicked. Yeah. Thank you very much for stopping by. Do you want a beer or something? Well, thanks. I appreciate it, but I don't drink. I don't drink so. Oh, okay. So that would be a no. Easy no. <laughs> Easy no. But I'll stop for a second. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Come on. Yeah, grab a, grab a rock or something. All right. <laughs> well, it's dark now. <laughs> As you can tell, I've got a fire going, and uh, sorry, I didn't film my food. Oh, I didn't film cooking it, and I didn't film uh, eating it. Uh, I was talking to Jesper. It was awesome. He told me all about gold planning. You also didn't hear about that either. <laughs> but um, it was really interesting. Uh, really, really cool. So anyway, sorry about that. Uh, I'm new at this. <laughs> so... Um, Anyway, it was a great day. I had a blast. Um, you know, getting turned around to side, who cares? We're here. It's a beautiful, warm campfire. And uh, yeah, we're sleeping in the woods. So um, yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Give me a little mini thumbs up or a big thumbs up or a high five. It's all the same button. And uh, if you want to uh, see what happens tomorrow, uh, click on the subscribe button and um, you know, go out there, find someone. And make him laugh. I just realized it's uh, five o'clock. It gets dark at seven. I have to try and find that path through the forest and then stay on it that was unmarked. <laughs> so good luck. <laughs>